Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with another of my um, contributions to, um, and I'll let you be the judge as to whether this is a contribution or not, to Mixed Media Frenzy. And today's subject is, uh, or today's product focus is um, art crayons. And for my um, page, I've chosen this particular color um, collection in the Vicki Booten uh, art crayons. And I want to tell you that I have a number. I have some Tim Holtz crayons. I have uh, uh, several different brands um, uh, of crayons and have used them primarily for coloring in stamped images. Um, the ones that are uh, it, it kind of contained in a pencil, but they're crayons and then have a fairly small tip. And I've done some things where I use some other medium and do stenciling on a background, but I want another color kind of added to it to fill in the white spots. Um, I've used art crayons. I just kind of scribbled them on, spray a little water, and kind of move them around with my fingers. Not much different from finger painting. And this morning I was trying something. This was, um, this, this is something I probably will use uh, later. I had this stencil on top of here, used this particular color collection of crayons, and colored in these little um, honeycombs and then I spritzed with water and kind of uh, smooshed them about and as you can see even dry you can smoosh them about and create something of a, a shadow around them if there's any of the, the crayon that didn't get dissolved by the water. And so what I plan to do with this is go back over it, set the stencil over it exactly where it was before, and with all of that uh, kind of around it, then I'll, I'll trace through and redraw the, um, the, the honeycomb with a, with a black pen. I have an idea for uh, a layout for this but it wasn't the one I was wanting to do today. Today, I'm gonna to use a different stencil, a similar technique to that, and it's something I've never tried. I have a very simple uh, photo cluster. My grandson's football uh, season, his uh, freshman high school football season uh, has just ended, and the um, varsity team didn't. Uh, have the level of success that his um, middle school teams had had. So he's not particularly uh, uh, excited about the football season. We've kind of hidden all the football gear. And, uh, and so I, I, I don't want a really complex page. I like this stencil because it has arrows. I'm going to place the photos so that they're right here with the arrows pointing you know, to the photo. And I'll probably write some journaling about, although it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a good season. Um, he got quite a few carries and on his carries as shown here in these photos from that last game, um, he gained some yards. He, he got some experience with much older, much bigger uh, players. So, um, you know, <laughs> it's lessons learned. He's turned his attention to basketball now. My, my idea here is to kind of do something of a shadowing process. I'm going to do the arrows pointing this way with this kind of um, magenta type color. And, and I'm intentionally coloring... Um, Ir irregularly, you know, not the s uniformly in each in each one. Um, so I'll put that away. I think I'll use a dark color for the bottom parts. This is kind of a brick color, reddish brown, 
And what I'm hoping to achieve here is that when I, 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 I'm expecting when I do the water, when I spray the water on it and kind of smoosh it around with my fingers, which I'm going to, to, to do, um, I'm expecting that the, the colors that I, I'm going to use an other colors on these, the colors that I apply in each of these little arrow sections um, will blend and make something interesting and it'll be kind of uh, an abstract set of arrows and it should be colorful and I've chosen uh, the, the two teams playing in the photos have uh, navy blue and black and white uniforms and um, so I'm, I'm using, but my, you know, I'll point out, my grandson is this one here with the kind of rainbow colored shoes that have orange, red, yellow, th this kind of color scheme. So I'm going to this color to this one. Um, I, I have to be careful not to produce any, if I were to use this yellow or the lemon yellow that's down below with that kind of purplish color, I might run the risk of some, some mud and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use this kind of orangey yellow with that brownish color and that's, I think will work. I may use this kind of orangey color with the magenta. This is a I I'm hoping that I don't get a uh, get any mud. If I do, you know, mud football how bad can it be, right? Okay. Um coloring these in. If I had wanted to shorten the video, I might have um, colored some of this in beforehand. And I'm going to use this lemon yellow. Do I want to use the lemon yellow? Yeah, let's do that. And because it will have some contrast. Where it blends with the red, we'll get some orange, but we don't need to have orange now. And this looks like all the colors that are in his shoes. And that's kind of how I chose this palette. And I, I'm not, as you could see with the cluster, I'm not really gonna overly decorate it because this is gonna be really busy here. I'm going to, right now, spray the water lightly with the stencil still on. I, I took the stencil off when I did the honeycombs that I showed you a while ago. So we'll kind of see what we can achieve by leaving the stencil on. We're expecting some of the, uh, the color to, to kind of leak underneath. I kind of like that um, magenta kind of highlight there. Okay, I'm going to wipe my finger off because I don't want to carry that color down here. So I really love how that's blending. I need to be careful here that to touch the yellow before I touch the brown because when I and I'm wiping in between because I'm unlike up here where the uh, magenta could blend into the orange and I didn't mind having the full blended color showing. Uh, I, I didn't like it as much when some of the brown got up there, which it just did. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the yellow and cherry red. Again, I'm the yellow has had a chance to dry out a bit. I'm making sure I touch the yellow before I touch the red. 
And then, of course, I brought it back here. So I'm gonna use a different finger. I'd like some of that really bright lemony yellow to show. Okay, and on this one, I'm expecting that I will not be going back to outline this. Okay, that's my, um, that's what we're left with. And if I were to do this, I could kind of leave it like that. And I think I will let it dry off camera and I'll decide whether to go back and do any outlining with pen, but I expect that I'm going to leave it this way and do a title up here. Not quite sure what that is gonna be. Um, and I'll do some journaling down here. So this is just one of the millions of things you can do with art crayons. And it's not one of, I, it, I don't hate it, but I think, um, I think it's maybe, a, let's just say, a, just a little bit messier than I had hoped it would be. But next time, what I may try to do is wet the paper ahead of time, do the crayons a little bit more, a little lighter, and then do the blending on the wet paper. I think we'd get more distinct images. And, and that's, this is okay for this page, but for another page, you might want it differently. And I've got kind of um, a little bit of the, the crayon up here. I can cover that with the title, or I can add some, um, some uh, spritzes. Another thing that I do with crayons is rub them on a, um, a medium like this, spray with some water, kind of smoosh them around, and I don't have a paintbrush here now, but a little bit of, of water, and I can create some um, paint-like, ink-like, um, no, I don't have a paintbrush around. I dip a paintbrush in that, and produce splatters and I think I, I think I will do that with this particular smirch and it's kind of that nice color orange so I, I think I'll like that so I'm gonna end the video here I will post the finished page and we'll see um, what I decide to do with this so enjoy playing with art crayons it's kind of like being a kid and enjoy the uh, hop, all the other ladies' videos. I'm sure there's some amazing things that uh, some more experienced people are gonna do with, with these crayons, and I can't wait to watch. Bye.